Hey, I'm Rob Witcher, and I'm here to help you pass the CISSP exam by teaching you how to correctly read and understand CISSP questions and pick the best answer. Here is today's question. An organization has procured a new customer relationship management CRM system that is used to store customer names and telephone numbers and track customer interactions and sales. Who is the owner of the data stored in the CRM system? To help us understand this question and be able to identify the best answer, we need to simplify the question and identify the keywords. The keywords are data and owner. Who is the data owner of some application? It doesn't matter what the application is, that's not important. At the most basic level, this question is simply asking who is the data owner? Before we look at the answers, let's think about what is the perfect answer would be for this question. Who is the data owner? And to think about this, it's important to consider two terms, accountability versus responsibility. Accountability means the person who has ultimate ownership, answerability, blameworthiness, and liability. That's the keywords we're looking for, owner or ownership. The way I like to think about accountability is that they are the person that best understands an asset, a system. The owner best understands how the system is used by the organization, what data is stored in the system, for what purposes, and who can access it. Essentially, they best understand what business value the system has to the organization. The person that is accountable for the system is the owner of the system. The owner of the system can then delegate responsibilities for managing different aspects of the system to various people. Bringing it back to the question, who is the data owner? We're looking for an answer that best represents the owner of the system, the person that is accountable for the system. So now, let's look at the answers and go through to find the best answer. And we'll start with answer B here, the IT director. The IT director is definitely not the data owner. The IT director is responsible for ensuring the CRM system is properly installed and configured and patched and secured, etc. on behalf of the business owner. The IT director is responsible for the system, but not accountable for the system. Therefore, not the data owner. Answers A and D, the data steward and the data custodian. Is either of them the data owner? To figure that out, we need to understand their roles. Data owners have a technical responsibility for data. Keyword here is responsibility. They are not the data owner. They are responsible for ensuring the data is properly encrypted, backed up, etc. on behalf of the data owner. Data stewards have a business responsibility for the data. So same thing, the keyword here is responsibility. Data stewards are responsible for ensuring data has the right metadata associated with it, the data is accurate for business purposes, etc. on behalf of the data owner. Data stewards and data custodians are not the data owners. All right, so by process of elimination, the best answer for the data owner is answer C, the business manager. And this makes sense. Out of these four answers, the business manager best understands how the system is used by the organization, what data is stored in the system. The business manager understands the business value of the data in the system and is therefore the best answer as to who is the data owner. If you're watching this video, you're more than likely preparing for the CISSP exam. My partner in crime, John Birdie, myself, and our team have been helping people just like you prepare to confidently pass the CISSP exam for over 20 years. We love guiding folks to become better security professionals and achieve the coveted and well-respected CISSP certification along the way. We've trained thousands of folks at our major corporate clients, and we're now opening our training up to everyone. If you're interested in finding out more about our CISSP Masterclass, then check us out here at destinationcissp.com. If you found this video helpful, you can hit the thumbs up button and if you want to be notified when we release additional videos in this question and answer series, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Thanks very much for watching and all the best in your studies.